One of the most important tools that we use in the web course is Visual Studio Code. As you can see, I'm using a search engine Bing. We type in VS Code Download up here. This will then lead you to this particular link here, which is on code.visualstudio.com slash download. If you click on that, it will take you to this page. From here, download the version for your operating system. Once you have done that, you'll have the installer here. Double click, accept the agreement, then click next, next, next. Here, tick these two boxes to allow a context menu to appear. Click on next, click on install. One of the reasons why VS Code is the most popular IDE on the planet at the moment is because it is open source and it allows people to add and include extensions to it, which offers a bit more flexibility for the program. As such, this is one of the reasons why we use it. Once this is now done, as you can see, we're going to launch Visual Studio Code like so. And this is it, this is now it open. Normally on the very first try, as I've had this on my system a few times, you will have a welcome screen that appears. There'll be a little tick box down the bottom where you can turn that off. One of the first things you wanna do is you wanna go into the extension section Inside here, type in live server. This will come to this point here. So we're looking for live server and we want to click on install. The reason we do this is it will allow front end development to be a little faster than having to hit refresh every time. So now that that's installed, we can go back to here we can close this guy off. And then whenever we're building web pages, what we want to do is we want to go open folder, choose a location. So for example, if I choose here, I'll type test, click select. This will give you a brand new view. The most important parts to remember, uh, this page here with this link gives you a new file. Your first page for any website will be index.html. This creates folders. Your file and folder structure, you'll have a CSS folder. Notice I click out, click on here, pages folder, and click off. Now from here, you can add additional folders, but basically this is the general structure. This section here is called the root folder. So this is where everything looks. That'll show you how to get things up and running with VS Code to start with.